I'm gonna bring this to the goat. Then we got a bunch of hay. We still have some inside the barn, but we put it here temporarily so it's covered. Um, but here's the light, guys. This is the unit right here. And let's put this up. Let's see how it looks. This is the solar panel. You have your mounting brackets right here. Bolts and nuts. This is the light. Let's flip this around so I have a base to set things on. There you go. One, manual, bolts, more bolts, bracket, bracket, solar panel. Okay, and here's the light. For the solar panel, what you want to do is you want to go in the middle holes right here. There's four holes. You want to go in the middle. You put this little lock nut underneath it, underneath the hole like that. And then you center it and you put your little tiny screw right in there. All right. I'll tighten it a little bit more now that I got them all in. Okay, that's one. Now, this is the part that will mount to your mounting surface, whether it's a tree, like in our case. The recommended height should be around between 16 and 25 feet, something like that. Um, we're probably about 16 feet where we're going with it, 15, 16 feet. So we're at the very bare minimum for the height that's recommended. Uh, obviously, the higher you go, the more coverage you get. But you also lose, you have more dispersion of light. So you will lose um, some lighting, you won't have as much light concentrated in the one area. Now the company sent us this uh, to do a review on <clears throat> and it's a company by the name of Buita or Baita. It's B-U-Y-T-H-A. So that goes in there like that and then you tighten it down. It'll actually be like this. Right? Because this mounts on the flat surface. See the angle? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this back out because I'm not going to be able to do this in all at once. I have to do this in two stages. Two stages. Take this, put it on top of that. Now for this one, you use your uh, one inch screws. Or they look like about an inch, three quarter of an inch. And uh, slide that into the hole. You want to put this from the back, all right? And then you put this on the front, the lock nut. Right there. Come on, get in there. <laughs> all right, it's going. Okay. Now. This allows it to move so you can adjust your solar panel at the angle that you need. I think these are for in case you decide to mount the unit on a metal pole. Okay, so in that case you would use these. But we don't have a metal pole, we're going to go into the wood. So we're going to be using the anchors instead, expansion anchors. Okay, now so these guys are set aside. I've got to figure out, I think I'm going to put the solar panel on first. It's, it, I mean, because it is a little bit, has a little bit of weight. When you put it all together, 
you know, and you're trying to hold it with one hand and screw it in with the other, it's going to be a little challenging. And then we'll see if we can get it in there. All right. See? Now you can move your panel. You can turn it side to side and you can also tilt it so you can adjust it according to your situation and it's going to be mounted like so so this is how I'm going to do it so I can go ahead and safely guesstimate and I'm going to tighten this up because I think it's going to work out okay so I tighten this down and I think going to turn it all the way to the side like that and um, because I think that's how it's going to work best for our situation so I am going to tighten it down I'm going to I'm going to try it I think that's fine. Yeah. How's she looking? Looks good. Looks good? Yeah. All right. That's going to be great. Also, I just looked and I couldn't find any batteries. So you have to get batteries, two triple A's, stick them in there. And you're in business. She's gonna get me some uh, some batteries so we can test it and see if it works but obviously it's going to need to charge. We're still getting a little bit of sunshine for the next two or three hours so hopefully it'll get a little bit of charge and tonight it will light up. Typically these kind of units will even on cloudy days you will be able to have light at night for two or three consecutive nights, even on cloudy days. So, keeping that in mind, that's pretty good. This particular model is the IP65. Um, I think it's a good positioning because the way that I have it right now, we'll be able to get light all in through here. All right. And all of this will be lit up. So, safer for the animals. Especially since we're moving the goats underneath this light. Looks good. IP65. I love it.
I think it's great. And I was actually standing on the porch and you could see the light fixture from the house. So that means we'll be able to have, we could see the light from the house as well. So there won't be total darkness when we look out this way. It's going to be nice. Can't wait, yeah. for, the, can't wait for the sun to go down so we can test it out and yeah. see. I'm sure it'll come on. Yeah. It's getting some light right now. Now we have a whole new space for our animals. All we have to do now, <laughs> where are you running to? All we have to do now is build the goat house right there. And then we're going to fence it all in with the electric fencing and we are done. Maybe. It's going to be the, the, rut, the rut hut. The rut hut, yeah. The rut hut. And there's our light right there. Yeah. Baby, it's great. It lights up the back area of the goat run too. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, we'll go take a look. Yeah. It gives some light here. So they have some light in their little outside area. Yeah. But yeah, this is uh, exactly what I expected. What do you think, guys? So I have to see now with our little remote right there click auto oh there you go now it's on auto okay. so now, this is how it's going to be and then if you walk under it yeah, is it picking you up no, oh it doesn't okay. have a sensor maybe no doesn't that oh, have a sensor like oh, I don't know okay let's see here let's see the auto oh. hi that's hi Okay. Okay. We have to uh, tweak it a little here. See what we're gonna do. But the amount of light is awesome. Great. Yeah, this one is good. Oh, there you go. It just dimmed down a bit. Thank you to the company for sending it to us and we, we're very excited about it. So I think it'll serve us years of lighting, yeah. constant lighting. Yeah. Um, we'll leave the, all of the links in the description and if you use our code, you will get a discount. And you know, hope you enjoy the video and, and the review and hope that you know, it will at least help some of you guys. All right, thanks for watching. Peace, health, and happiness, guys. Always. Ciao. Good night.